is a story that starts small, very small. See it? Good. To understand how the tiny turtle got to the road, you have to meet Nathan Weaver, a senior at Clemson University. They're not going to be able to go through that creek tunnel because the water is going to be too high going through that little, that little drain that connects the creek. So they're going to come up on the road. They are box turtles. Their numbers in slow decline because of this, slow crossings on busy byways. And sometimes people have a way of going out of their way, targeting the tiny creatures. When Nathan Weaver put rubber turtles out as an experiment, seven drivers intentionally ran them over in the course of an hour. Nate's study is uh, important because it's studying the potential effects of automobiles on a sensitive group of organisms, which is reptiles. Reptiles are declining globally. And one of the main reasons they're declining in this country is because of road mortality. And that is a problem for turtles, since they reproduce slowly. What may seem like a road trip sport, actually harming a species. You see they've still got enough rubber left on them, and I'm taking them home and I stuff them. And that way they kind of bulge back up like a what turtle again. Uh, I just use pine needles at the last site, but I'll use whatever I have at my apartment, paper or cotton or something. And I just stuff it to get it back up to the right size, and that way I can reuse them later. Tiny rubber turtles on a slow march to change how people drive. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.